All right, welcome back. Uh, so yesterday, as you saw, I dropped the 700 MF Pit Zerker slash Chaos Zerker, and you know it's a decent build. It was really good in the pits, but when you're running Chaos, eh, not so great. You know, you could do it. I did like over 20 runs and didn't die once, but it just takes longer because you got to be so careful. It's like it's a pretty squishy build, uh, and honestly. I hate the freaking pits. I'm done doing pits. I just never liked it. I've never had luck there. And it's just, it's dark. It's crammed. I don't like it. Uh, so now I want to do a straight up Chaos Zerker. And that other build is just, eh. I don't like it for Chaos. So, yeah, I went with the 500 MF build because you're not going to notice the difference between 500 and 700 MF. 500 is already more than enough, so... I dropped 200 MF and went with the max block uh, with 15 DR build. And I gotta say, way freaking smoother build for Chaos. I, I already did a stream and I really liked it. So let's get into it. Stats are pretty much the same, enough strength to get your War Traveler on, which will get your Enigma on. All that extra strength comes from the Enigma. Uh, the decks, now you're gonna put enough to get max block. So I have 75. Uh, percent chance block and it was actually just enough to get 10,000 AR on my Berserk uh, and as you can see Berserk does 1200 to 1400 so it's really decent uh, enough vitality for 3000 life the rest into energy which gives me 360 mana it's pretty decent and then max res with 500 MF and now I've also got the 15 DR too Onto the skill tree, pretty much the same. You want to max Berserk, max Sword Mastery, wanted to Speed and Stamina, wanted to Iron Skin, wanted to Natural Resistance. I actually have max res with that. I actually have some res on my MF Small Charms too, which helped. Uh, we've got max Find Item, max Battle Order, and then the rest into Howl, which was really helpful because the Howl was pretty weak with the other build I had going. Uh, the Merc's the same. We got the Eth, Eth Thresher and Insight, uh, 17 Meditation, 250 ED, and 3 to Crit. Uh, we've got Treachery and a Superior Ring Mail, non Eth and Darius, 10 Life Leech, 30 Strength, 145 ED, with a 15 IS, uh, 28 Fire Res Jewel. So, really nice helmet. Really good Merc uh, with Fade, has got Max Res, 4300 Life. 800 to 4600 damage and 6000 defense. Uh, he's he's really good. And he's got the 80 increased attack speed, so he hits pretty fast, leeches pretty well. Uh, on to the character. As you can see, still rocking the grief. 34 IS, 373 damage with 13 ED. Uh, still rocking the Enigma. IK Helm with a Cham and an Ist. I changed up the amulet. I had a no skill amulet because I needed the, the MF it had in res. But I don't need that MF anymore. So now I'm able to use this amulet that I found on my own. Two barb skill, 10 fast cast rate, two strength, 16 mana, and that important 19 all red. So really decent amulet. For the shield, I'm going with rhyme and a tower shield. Uh, love the block rate. The chance increase the block is really nice. 30, 25 all res and the 25 MF. So. Uh, really good shield, and the biggest thing about it is I love the way it looks. The barb looks so freaking cool with the tower shield. Uh, he's sexy as hell. Uh, you don't need the cannot be frozen because you have it in your helm. Because when you're on your offhand with the two suicide branches, you no longer have cannot be frozen from your shield, so you get it from your helm. Uh, we got laying of hands because with this build, not using the gold wrap, you need that IS to get the 42 IS breakpoint. Uh, that huge 350% damage to demons uh, it really helps with Diablo and it really helps one shot a lot of the demons that you're killing and then that 50 res to max your fire yeah, 50 fire res to max your fire res really helps got 230 nagels uh, I went with the 15 DR dungos actually found this on my own pretty decent belt uh, 50 war traveler so that's the gear Go over the charms real quick still got the 1218 barb torch 141910 Annie Got the 144, 4014 Geeds, and then we've got all small, small charms with res and just assorted mods and plain. See? 
all seven matching except for the last one which is four to give me exactly uh, 500 MF so let's just go over a go through a quick run here of course you want to teleport up there on your off hands uh, if you see any like that you see a boss patch switch to your because these guys can actually drop every item in the game too so you don't want to ignore those boss packs on the way and then when you get to cash just stay on your main hand take it slow to your boss just howl away go on in kill him pork uh, this build is just way freaking smoother than the other one for chaos Yeah, as you can see, it is a Chaos Zerker. He doesn't really have any trouble here. Got stuck there. See, even getting stuck, barely lost any health. If that was the other build, I would probably have been almost dead right there. There we go, got another boss. Out up. Rock him. You can like you're gonna like one to three shot every guy, so it's really nice. One in here. Seals. The seals are way easier with this setup. Just go on in, boom. Kill him, work him. Oh, decent amount of boss packs too, I'm happy. Look at that, two shot at this guy, almost one shot at him. Pork do you need there? Uh, the Sace and Infector are way easier with this build. It's stuck here for some reason. Yeah, the teleport's really glitchy right now for some reason, unfortunately. You just howl around them, go on in, and of course the Sace is going to give you some trouble running around sometimes, but... Even so, didn't take very long. You like to get in there and one-shot him so he doesn't run around, but... You do it every time. For this, you just want to howl around, get the guys away from Vector. Boom, take them down. And you can do a little seal pop. Uh, unfortunately, the teleport is glitchy right now, so I can only do a weak ass slow teleport right now. But when the teleport isn't glitching, it's a lot better. Oh, so, yeah. After you seal pop, you can usually seal pop all the way down here when it's not glitching. You would go around, check if anything cool dropped. Even that little seal pop was nice. Switch back to your main hand. And this build rocks Diablo way faster than the other one. Look at that. Still going to miss a little bit, but... Oh! <laughs> and got a freaking Oculus while making a freaking video. <laughs> That's funny. I never really drop anything when I'm making these videos. I didn't have a replay buffer going, so I'm gonna have to cut that, cut that replay so I can put it in my highlights. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, that was a really freaking smooth run. Guy looks freaking good. 500 MF, max block, max res, doing decent damage. Yeah, I am really freaking happy with this build, and you're gonna be seeing a lot of chaos arcing in the future. So. That is it. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.